Did you know that it is never acceptable to ask the jury to step in the shoes of your client? Would you like to learn why? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. All right, so now we're going to trial. And one of the key things that I as an attorney want to do is to get the jury to empathize with my client. I want them to understand what my client has gone through. Now, it would be really easy for me to turn to the jury during jury selection or even a trial and say, ladies and gentlemen, put yourselves in my client's position, in my client's shoes. And imagine what life is like now that he's suffered all of these injuries. Imagine the torture and the trauma and the suffering he has to go through from the moment he wakes up. I have to tell you right now, that type of legal argument will get my case dismissed. And any attorney who tries to use it will also get dismissed. You want to know why? That's called the golden rule. You are never to overtly ask the jury to put themselves in your client's shoes. So instead, we have to develop other strategies, other ideas to get the jury to understand, to empathize with my client, to recognize what it is that my client has had to go through in order for them to truly recognize that my client experienced all of these damages, these harms and losses as a result of somebody else's carelessness. So we can never come right out and ask the jury, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to put yourselves in my client's shoes because once you do that, you will recognize immediately that her injuries are worth millions and millions of dollars. Well, we can't do that. We'll get an immediate objection. The judge is going to sustain the objection. In fact, he'll probably declare a mistrial and now have a start all over again. And the judge will chastise me. Why? Mr. Rojinski, you know better. You've been doing this long enough. You know you can't ask the jury to put themselves in your client's shoes. And that's absolutely true. And that's why you can't overtly come out and do that, nor do you want to ask the jury for sympathy. And that's why we'll often tell the jury, listen, we're not here for your sympathy. We're not here for a handout. My client has all the sympathy he needs from his friends and his family. They don't want sympathy. They want justice here. And you're going to do justice by listening to the evidence, paying attention, and evaluating to see who's right and who's wrong. And once you do that, you'll recognize that we have been able to show you that we are more likely right than wrong. And then you'll be able to compensate my client for all the harms and losses he's suffered. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on during the trial process in an accident case or in a medical malpractice case or even a wrongful death case here in the state of New York. You know, I realize you're watching this because you probably have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened here in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. This is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487. 8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.